has made a tremendous impact in the first division. When the bookies were drawing up the odds for the probable leading scorer in Division 1 this season, the likes of Charlie Nicholson and Ian Rush were to the fore. So perhaps QPR's Simon Stainrod, something of a surprise name to be out in front. He's got nine so far, six in the league, three more against Crewe in the Milk Cup. Queen's Park Rangers then kick off. They're attacking the goal to the left in the first half. And wearing number eight for them is Ian Stewart. Here's Stainrod. A goal! In their first attack, 12 seconds gone. Finding Allen. And Micklewhite's got behind Nigel Hart here. Stainrod! Stainrod doing the pointing. Anxious to have the shot himself, which he does. And Simon Stainrod, a hat-trick completed in the final minute. Has your own success so far this season come as something of a surprise to you? Uh, I thought I'd do reasonably well, yeah, because I've worked hard at the game, and, and in, especially in training. But um, if someone said at the start of the season you're going to have nine goals from ten games, then you know I'd, I'd have given him a thousand pounds to guarantee it. I think. Stainrod's entertaining style has been compared to that of ex-Ranger Rodney Marsh, a style he's been cultivating since his days at Oldham and Sheffield United. Stainrod and Edwards only up with him. Here's Stainrod, one to take on. What a magnificent goal from Simon Stainrod. We had so many managers at Sheffield United. You're always trying to, you know, the first few weeks of their management, you're always trying to impress them and get in the team. And then all of a sudden you find out that you didn't agree with what they were doing and what have you. But I think looking back now, I was perhaps a little bit pig-headed at the time, you know, young and immature. And I, I sort of believed in everything I was doing and nothing that the manager was doing. And... Uh, now a few things that Jimmy Cyril and uh, Harry Haslam said sort of ring true, you know, so perhaps it was, you know, I was a little immature there and I think, I'd like to think that I've learned from that, you know. You're coming up to your third birthday at Loftus Road. What do you feel you've learnt in your three years under Terry Venables? Uh, to have a single-minded determination to be the best that your sort of body and mind allows you to be, really. He, he's, he's, really giving me the inspiration to, to get out there and prove to people, you know, what, what I can do with the ability I've got. And, uh, yeah, I think he, he's been a great inspiration to me. Under Venable, Stainrod's not only helped achieve promotion from Division 2, but also appeared in a cup final. His memories of the two games with Spurs, though, aren't really fond ones. I was down for about three weeks after that. You know, it took me a long time to get over it. Although, on the surface, I might not have shown it. Deep down, you know, I was... I was very upset that we didn't do better, especially having had so much of the game there. You say you react best when the occasion's big. Well, the occasion doesn't come a lot bigger than Liverpool at home. Yes, it's going to be a very difficult fixture, uh, an interesting one, sort of concerning Liverpool and, and the pitch, as everyone's sort of remarked in the press. But I think it's all down to both sides' attitude of mind on the day, and I'm sure that we'll, uh, we'll go out with the right attitude and uh, hopefully get the right result. Well, I'm going to that game this afternoon. I'm really looking forward to it. With no good.